Hello my soccer universe. As you can see I'm getting ready to film uh, my review for what was happening in the Premier League before moving on to other leagues, Germany, France, blah blah blah. Um, and now the statement came and I thought yeah I need to do this ahead and then we can move on to normal business. Um, this afternoon the IOC has recommended that all Russian athletes or team to be removed from international competition. This was exactly the spark that was needed for FIFA and UEFA to work. Like I said uh, in uh, my previous video, and thanks for keeping the comments largely civil and giving me good feedback on that one. Um, I do have a little bit adjusted actually my op opinion. I will definitely put this shirt now up here in the background. It will probably be here where the Liverpool shirt is hanging now, um, put it this one up there for at least this week uh, uh, and then we see from where it goes from from, from there just to show, show my support with Ukraine. So well, let's go uh, back to what was uh, said. So the IOC, the Ukrainian athletes have contacted the IOC that is really, uh, that they cannot actually compete at the moment and it's kind of unfair that um, you know, and you know, it's not exactly wording, but that's uh, the way I interpret it right now. Um, that I that they cannot compete, but then Russian athletes could compete, and I see their point uh, totally. And I think, and I told you in the video, I would expect that sooner or later Russian teams uh, will be eliminated from uh, UEFA and FIFA competitions. I don't now speak of other uh, sports. Uh, but at least this we have and I feel that at least for now this is the right thing to do. You avoid another drama and um, as you did as I said in the uh, World Cup World qualification for 1974 uh, containing uh, USSR. Now what I'm not so sure that is the right uh, decision but I do say I do not have a much better solution as of now is that Poland has a walkover win over Russia to make it to the playoff final. Um, I'm not sure how sporting that is because that gives Poland, uh, you know, if you have one shot. Um, and nothing against Poland and the same thing applies to uh, RB Leipzig who now have a walkover win over um uh, over Spartak Moscow, directly into the quarterfinal. Uh, this one I can uh, stomach a tad bit more, but only a tad. But the one uh, for Russia, I think, uh, for the World Cup, I actually think it would be relatively easy if you take from the Nations League ranking of the group winners, just take, I, and I don't know now the, team, the teams, but just nay, take the next place team and let it play against Poland. Not necessarily a home game. I would give Poland the home field advantage, but um, let that let that play out. So in order for, to, for Poland to have two games to make it to the World Cup. That's my only contention. It, this is nothing against Poland. I just don't feel it quite fair that you have one shot and basically you can prepare, you can look at... Uh, it's also in not, not a lot quite fair in the sense that, you know, uh, Sweden and the Czech Republic have to play full on where Poland can sit on the pool and watch and see who, who they're playing. That's just my thought on the whole whole thing. Uh, for Leipzig, I don't see it as easy because, you know, would you pull in Napoli back? No, probably not. So they have been eliminated. So uh, that would, would not be so. There I maybe can stomach it a little bit more. Uh, would have been nice maybe to, yeah, to have... <laughs> nah. You cannot really say so. That's that's all I want to say. But I actually think uh, it was for this moment the right decision to do. I, as I said, I'm not a huge fan of exclusion, but I think to calm things down and also to be, be fair to uh, Ukraine is is a necessary step to do at the moment. Uh, please watch my previous video. I again, I will not give you a finishing video on this one. Again, if you want to help Ukraine, show your support. But I think mo uh, most 
importantly, um, I think the people in Ukraine will need donations and I have put it in the description of that video, I will put it here too. I'm talking like uh, Doctors Without Boundaries, uh, the Red Cross, uh, UNICEF and so on. I think for humanitar humanitarian aid, uh, if anyone can afford to give um, one, I think should, should give. That's the way you can help best. But uh, that's just me on the side. Um, I decided I got swayed today by a few opinions that um, I will display this Ukraine shirt at least for this week. It will always hang, as I said, to show my support. Maybe I should move, move, move it over to here, uh, depending. Yeah, make it a little bit more, prob more prominent. In any case, uh, let me know what you think about the ban on Russian teams um, and uh, how things are going forward. Uh, I also, uh, all ties with Russian sponsorship have been cut. I hope it's a necessary step. I think um, I don't want to, again, I think business is business. But I think you should not sell your soul like UEFA and FIFA have been doing to um, dictatorships. Abramovich stepping down as, you know, giving stewardship to other, to his foundation, but still remaining the owner. Uh, yeah, that's a whole different story. In any case, leave any comments below and I will talk to you soon with definitely something happier, depending on which teams you support. Up until then.